Charles Horace Mayo and Dr. William James Mayo. Lake Charles, Louisiana, on the Gulf Coast of the United States, people are arriving for a concert of the American Wind Symphony Orchestra on board its floating concert stage, the Point Counterpoint II. This unique barge, jointly sponsored by the A.M. Mellon Foundation and American Business, has been traveling through the nation's waterways for six months, helping many small communities celebrate the nation's bicentennial with music and art. The performers in the Wind Symphony are mostly young professional musicians just beginning their careers. Besides the public performances, small groups of them take their art off the stage and into the community. Yeah, well, it isn't very great yet. So, with the instrument, the trumpet or the horn or the other instrument, it, may, it brings the whole sound into focus. Music is not the only cultural freight carried by the Point Counterpoint. There is also a tap dancer, a children's show, and other performing artists. We have a frog. Now I'll give you a demonstration of a frog. A frog would say... I'm going to do a dance now, and I'm going to put all those steps in this dance, and I want you to realize and see if you can recognize the steps that I do in this dance. Lake Charles is one of dozens of small American communities that welcome the Point Counterpoint. Tonight, after the end of the concert, they will set off on their way to another community and another shared cultural celebration.